Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're doing something a little bit different because as you all know by now in the last Conquering Clickbait episode, had a little bit of crash, still recovering from that. Luckily, we've got something else really cool planned for today because with me I have Dutch who has come all the way over from Myrtle Beach to give me an incredible upgrade to Dora. We actually have a bonus which is Dutch's incredibly well outfitted van. So today we're gonna learn a little bit about Dutch and what he does. I have a lot of questions for you and I can't wait to take a look inside this van. Cool. But first, who are you, what do you do, and uh, where'd, where'd you come from? All right, cool, so Dutch, uh, our company's called The Bug Wall. So we make uh, screen doors for vans. How the company got started, you know, I was a cabinet maker and we built out this van and uh, it came time for bug screens. I looked around and everything just didn't fit the needs we wanted. So we had some sewing experience made my own first couple sets for myself and my buddies that had vans. You know, they kept getting better and better each time. And then uh, once COVID hit, I was a self-employed cabinet maker. So my wife had a job in that. We decided she was gonna get to work. I was gonna stay home with kids. So mm. I said, I'm gonna make some of these bug screens cause I think I like them. And my buddies that have vans think they're really cool. So let's throw some of these on Etsy, see what happens. That's so So cool. I set some tables up in the garage. And while the kids had to stay home, I started making some screens in the garage. Etsy kind of snowballed. And now he's doing it full time, right? Full time, full -time. yeah. So we have my dad and brother partners with me and then we have a team of uh, four full time and one part time. So and, sick. Uh, we make these things, uh, send them all over the world, really. Van life is, it's not just about living in the vans and whatever, yeah. traveling in the vans. Right. It's like the whole lifestyle. Yeah. And part of that is freedom from you know, free, like locational freedom. Nine to five, job freedom. freedom yeah, whatever. job freedom and, mm -hmm. and that's, and you've, created your own freedom yeah. doing that, yeah. helping outfit these vans, which is actually just so cool. Yeah, it's pretty, it's it's amazing to see how much vans are changing uh, how people travel and what they're doing with them. All right, so first things first, yeah. what type of van you got here? So this is a 2020 Ford Transit. Okay. Uh, yeah, high roof. I, I noticed on the outside, you did some aftermarket stuff. Nice tires, some yeah. suspension under yeah. there. What's so, going on? So we got a two inch lift, a little more ground clearance. Okay. These extended ones have a long part that sticks past the rear tire. And I okay. felt myself like yeah. scraping a bunch when I go on real steep stuff. So yes. lifting up a little bit, took a lot of that away. Uh, we got a roof rack up there. It's got 300 watts of solar, LED light, the awning. So what about this uh, awning? So it's a Fiamma. The roof rack we have accepts that awning uh, right to it. So we have the flat line roof rack. Okay. And that awning just bolts to it. I mean, super simple. I, when you guys were undoing it, it actually looked pretty easy. It is. Like, I kind of like the fact that it was mechanical and not electric, you know, like. Nope. I chose first that First of all, purpose. those are crazy expensive, I know that. But they also rely on your power. And you guys just whipped out this, like, handle thing. And yeah, yeah. It was like, just crank it out. Yeah, yeah that was sick. And, That's uh, sweet. Something I don't have that I think is really sick is these. Dutch here has two extra seats back here, which is just awesome. I have wished so many times I had the capacity to bring more people sure. safely. Yeah. I'm not gonna say I haven't ever done it. <laughs> right. Definitely yeah. not. I haven't officially, because it's super not legal, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, you haven't done it. All right, so uh, one of the first <laughs> things I can't help but notice is you have sure. a full shower in here, man. Yeah. This so. is dope. There's certain things in the van that we're on Dutch's list of must-haves, and there were certain things that were your wife's must-have. Correct. I think I can guess whose this was. Yes. When we were, you know, laying out the van with mock-ups, and I kept coming back to her, I'm like, I can't fit the bathroom, I can't fit the bathroom, yeah. it ain't gonna happen, I want this and this. She's like, uh, you agreed, I get yeah. the bathroom. So here we are, we got the bathroom. Um, so... Just simple FRP panels. Uh -huh. uh, you know, this is, this is the cabinet maker in me, mahogany. Yeah, had to, okay. Had to do some good wood in here. But uh, hot water, and we'll get to that, that later in the system. Dang. Yeah, and it's all off-grid. There's a toilet down here, too. Yep. What type of toilet is it? It's a little Dometic portable toilet, but it works okay. like a cassette. So okay, the bottom okay. part's a cassette. Gotcha. You can dump it in any bathroom. Is it weird showering in here? It's actually in your van? It's actually a whole lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like, yeah, I actually enjoy it. It's, it's fine. Nothing better than after a ride than a hot shower. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
While we're on the topic of builds with full showers, let me take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Omaze, and tell you how you can enter for your chance to win your very own Airstream Caravel and Ram 1500. For anyone else out there that maybe has a significant other that is a little bit hesitant to ditch the creature comforts and head off the beaten path, this Airstream is for sure to help convince them. The cherry on top is that it comes paired with a Ram 1500 limited truck to tow it with. Something I really like about setups like this is just the freedom of it all. You know, you can take the Airstream out and park it at your campsite and then just detach the truck and head out for a ride or go into town for dinner or something. As you guys know, one of the reasons I really like partnering with Ome so much is that each entry also goes towards helping support a charity. This time, your donations will benefit Miranda Lambert's Mutt Nation Foundation, which works to help facilitate the adoption of shelter pets and assist in the relocation of animals after natural disasters. So to enter for your chance to win this incredible Airstream and truck combo, all while helping a worthwhile cause, head on over to omaze.com forward slash sampler. All right, back to the video. You know, I, what are these things? I see these all throughout your van. Yeah, so it's called- These tracks are awesome. Yeah, it's called uh, L-Track or Airline Track, depending okay. on the manufacturer. Um, and there's all kinds of attachments you can get for it. And, you know, everything just kind of pops in and out real easy. Uh, you know, bad example, but <laughs> real easy. Uh, you real, know, these, yeah. Real uh, but you're able to hang stuff. So we didn't yeah. really want big cabinets on both sides because I feel like it really cases in the feeling of the van. That's why we only did one side of mine. So we just did soft stuff, you know, just different bags that we can hang from it. And, this is my all my like bathroom gear, you know? So I just take it off of here and take it inside, but yeah, at home. That's sweet. So then I can pack it and we can just bring it out here and clip it in and we're good to go. Mm -hmm. uh, also, positive, it yeah. doesn't hurt when you hit your head on it. Tell me about your fans. I see you went with two fans, I noticed, for max airflow. Yes. And he has an air conditioning. Yes. How much power does this take though? How do so you... this is the only thing in my entire van that I have to be plugged in for. I've used it a lot less than I thought I would. The two fans have been yeah, I couldn't live without. I guess we or gotta take a yeah, look at this. this. Yeah. So this is gonna be super hard to film. Yeah. Um, here, I'll I'll take it. Come here. <laughs> so what do you got going on in the sink here? Uh, yeah, we wanted a big deep sink. Uh, biggest problem I think with a lot of RVs is you have this little shallow Dude. sink, and you try and wash a spoon or a bowl, and it just goes everywhere. Totally, you know? totally. It's all about uh, the depth. Because then you can throw stuff in there and not wash it and leave. <laughs> and see, we have, handy, have a handy cover. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. Know? So. Uh, you know, especially if I'm on a mountain bike trip with the boys. Uh, yeah. Yes, a whole yeah. load comes home to the dishwasher for yeah, sure. Exactly. Absolutely. Is this overhead storage right here? It is. So I'll show you how neat I am, I guess. But uh, yeah, so we have all our food and yeah, stuff we're up invading. in there. No, it's all right. Wow, that's super nice to have that like backlit as well. Yeah. Uh, we had some extra LED lights, so we put them up in there and store all kinds of stuff up in there. I love it. Uh, Very nice. What do you have underneath the sink? Some heater controls and an inverter and some tennis shoes and some water, you know. Okay. The normal the normal van stuff and power cord. Yes, yeah, it's a, it's a traditional <laughs> underneath the sink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Got, oh my gosh, that's on. great. Got a green beans. I, I remember that I forgot to ask you some very key questions that a lot of people that watch van builds want to know. Okay. What type of insulation did you use? So I went with the Havelock wool. The ah, sheep's wool. wool. Very nice. Yes. Did you do vapor barriers? I did not. I am personally interested in that after I, the amount of crap that I got on the internet about not doing it. So but I you did, didn't either. I did not. Okay. And uh, I have like zero moisture in this thing. Me neither. Like, I've had no issues. Me neither. None. Okay. Uh, and that's camping in super cold mm -hmm. or super hot. Like, okay. I've had zero, no issues. So we got a bunch of stuff up there. So basically, these are just, uh, I'll be, you know, it's, you know, it's one of these other little cheater, uh, cheap moves I made when I was building the van. Is this is an ATV ramp you can get from, from Harbor Freight for like no way. 75 bucks. And uh, you drill out the hinges that are the ATVs and these ATV ramps, you throw the plywood on it, and you got a bed platform. Wow. Yeah, and then the bed mattress is the Amazon trifold mattress. Yep. And it's been great. And there's your upper bed. Money. Yeah. So you got a lot of headroom. I'm not that tall of a guy. How tall are you? That's actually something people always ask. Uh, about 5'9. Okay. Yeah. About the same as me. Yeah, and I might be giving myself an edge, you know. <laughs> but uh, this is internal inside the van, so I don't have any bump outs. Oh, This was okay. just like, let's put less insulation right behind the heads and get some more space. Gotcha. That's so at 5'9", 
I don't think you could be 5'10 or 5'10 and a half. So I'm, I'm, you know, pretty close. I mean, 10, five, it probably actually measures right at 5'10, 5'11. If it's just me and my wife going, we don't even bring this bed. Oh, cool. So we only bring it if it's the kids are coming or Claudie's coming riding or whatever, you know. Um, these come out and then uh, I just store these in the garage and uh, use them when I need them because you just don't always need a bunk bed. All right, um, so we got a fully transformed like hangout area. I I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I'm kind of jealous of this. This is sick. Well, thank this you. is post bride beers right here. Absolutely, and Dude. it's used that way quite often actually. I'm, I'm and, sure. Uh, so when this bed is up here, mm -hmm. you and your wife will sleep up there and then Kids a kid and a kid? Yeah. Well, this, this here will form to a bed. So. Uh, let's see here, we'll go this side first. So these cushions are on here. Uh, we got these little wood slats that just kind of drop across. And then both these uh, seat tops are just double hinged. I thought you were putting those straight on in the slats. Yeah, yeah, see, and then it does the same. It's just a little flip over. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fair size. Dude. I mean, it gets the job done. And uh, you don't have to carry a lot of stuff and yeah, you know. that's sick. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at the power now. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, what is going on in here? We got some cool stuff in here. So some of the things we did that were less common, we have S-Bar hydronic heater that actually heats uh, boiler antifreeze and then runs it to the different heater outlets and also heats our hot water off grid on the S-Bar. How it works is the, the hydronic's like a coil inside that has the antifreeze in it that's hot. And then the, your water that you shower sits around that, so it just heats it up. So, right. And uh, six gallons of hot water. But once that hydronic system's hot, this acts like a never. It, I never run out of hot water. It'll heat it up fast enough to where you don't have any cold water, Damn. which is pretty sweet. Uh, fireball. These things are super cool. I wish more people would have these in their vans. I don't see them very often. Uh, I've never seen this. So it's a passive fire extinguisher. So if this gets hot, if there was a fire in here, this thing like blows up and puts the fire out. I am getting one of those and putting it in my power area. Yes. And I will cool. link it in the description of this video because that is awesome. Yeah, and just chilling there. Our batteries, uh, I did two AGMs. Uh, you know, I didn't go with the lithium. It was budget reasons and I just didn't feel like we had the power needs for it. Uh, I just need to run the fans and my fridge and the solar and the AGMs have done great on that. So, That's a sweet setup, dude. Thank you. All right, now for the fun part. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at the garage, man. All right. First thing I noticed is I need a ladder. This is probably super handy because I got to get up and clean my solar, solar panels, panels off more often. Exactly. Like, th and this ladder is sturdy as heck. How is this on it, here? It actually mounts to the door hinge. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so way. easy. I climb up my doors. Yeah, well, that's how I used to do it, yeah. <laughs> So I don't really have like a traditional garage like you have where the bed stays there all the time. Well, if your bed was up, your garage it, would look pretty much like, like mine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but a lot of times it rolls like this. So, you know, I have the bike. Uh, we made a little bracket for the L track so that it can just drop in and yeah. the fork mount and pull these, it out whenever you want. Again. Yep, yep, same tracks. Uh, everyone's going to want to know, man, what bike you got. Everyone's uh, going to ask in the comments. <laughs> you got to tell them. This is an evil reckoning. Dutch isn't actually here for the van tour. This turned out to just be a bonus. Yeah. Dutch was kind enough to come all the way from Myrtle Beach to install one of these in Dora, one of the bug walls. So he's obviously got one, but you, you said you make these too? So not this one. This is just a... Uh you know, an organizer I found online. By the way, you found a sweet one. This one is so hardcore. This is infinitely more durable than mine. So pro tip, uh, all these organizers that are super burly and really good, they're for horse trailers. Oh, no way. That's, that's pro tip for everyone <laughs> yeah. watching. They're gonna, everyone right. should thank you. So but everybody about... watching at mountain bikes, we got one coming out soon. Uh, yeah, so you make this one. Yeah, that'll be our product coming out here real shortly. That's, geared more towards mountain biking, you know, holds your pump. And, oh, I didn't even notice uh, your pump We got shoes, holders on there, and just different places to clip uh, a little bit of everything, really. The biggest thing I like about it, we make it so it can take the front tire. Oh, that's in there. Right. Oh, dude, and that's here, super right, cool. You know, holds your front tire. Yeah, I've had this on here for about a year for, and Is half. this first look? Do you have this on your channel? No, we don't. This first, is first look. First look. Yeah. I hope to have these out here this summer since we're coming towards the end of the van tour, yeah. everyone's gonna wanna know if you're cool talking about it. Yeah, what are you in on this awesome build? So I probably have... Wait, let me try to guess. Okay. 15,000? You're pretty solid actually. I would say it's it probably maybe a little bit higher than that. I'd say yeah. between 15 and 18,000 bucks. 
And what'd you get the van for? It was 2019 at the end of the year, so, so there was before. Premium. Well, no, actually, got it before it went crazy. Oh, I was in the mid 40s, I think, or low 40s, somewhere in there. All in, like maybe 65, 70. 65, 70. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's still very reasonable. All right. Well, that about does it for the van tour, man. This is honestly, this is a really cool build. You have a lot of unique stuff. It's very much yours like specific yeah, for yeah. what you needed yeah. you and the family needed and i love that it's so much different than mine i think everyone on the channel will really appreciate seeing that you can make it what you want that's the thing i always come it's back to it's like it. that is the beauty of it all around man thank you thank you so much for first coming out here and hooking me up with that awesome bug wall yeah. i'm extremely excited about having this new addition to dora i will show it off a lot more in a in a future like upgrade video <laughs> and then on top of that thank you for coming by and, and let me uh do a full tour of your of your rig here man You're and welcome. taking the time to do it been a pleasure thank you and it, you know thank you to brunson over here our <laughs> yeah. our impromptu cameraman that you guys don't even see he's killing it behind the camera today that does it for the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the van tour here with Dutch. And until I see you next time, you know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and get stoked. stoked.